take a quick look at maybe some tips when working with the surfer command. Uh, first thing really kind of getting into the command itself is, you know, where can we find it, right? There's really three different areas we can find it. We can go to our project tab and our surfer is there and it exists for us. Um, also, you know, it exists for us up in our quick access toolbar area. And a third area that we can find this is finding a component inside of our design, maybe a right click, and selecting the surfer command. Of course, the surfer command allows us to work inside of our designs, allows us to find parent-child relationships, all the related items inside our designs, and quickly go from one drawing to another. Some other things as, that's happening as we're going through this, let's say we selected something that you know, listed out a bunch of things we could search on for a given component or something inside of our design. Every time I select something, a little X comes up next to it. Again, really handy if we have this whole area full of different items that are associated so I know where I've been. That's what that X represents. It tells me where I've been. Some other things our server command um, allows us to do, um, not to forget, is the idea that we can go through our designs and we can actually edit directly from our server. So uh, let me go back in here. I'll find the server command. So if I select on something I got to go to, I can look at that command. I can also edit right from my surfer. So I don't have to get out of the command, go right click on my component, edit component. I can do it right from my surfer. Again, just save me some clicks and picks and some time going throughout my design. You know, one thing that just occurred to me as I mentioned the quick access toolbar up here is not maybe everybody knows about the quick access toolbar per se. So another quick tip is that Anytime we're working inside of a design and we want to add some tools up there, then the main reason for this is a lot of people don't like the real estate that all this takes up, right? So what I can do is I have some common commands here that I can quickly, I always use, I can simply right click on that command, add it to the quick access toolbar. So that allows me now for very common commands I use all the time, load up the quick access toolbar and I can actually gain more real estate or more screen space. So just some things to think about. So another way of working with our surfer command, I think everybody's kind of used to working with it inside of the design and maybe also used to using it with, you know, when thinking about reports. So let me quickly run a report here. I'll just do an active drawing, bill of material. I'm not too worried about settings or things like that. But the cool thing about surfer at this point, it's the idea that I can search on any type of information given in a report. So I can go ahead, simply come into my report here, again, select my surfer command and any information inside of this report. And why I mean any, I can come in here, I can grab quantity, right? A quantity of one on this. I can simply go out and surf right from the spot. Again, you know, list, maybe surfing off some tag information. I can go grab that tag information. Again, here's a great example where I'd want to see those X's start showing up so I know where I've been inside of my design. Now one last thing about Surfer is the ability it gives us to search on anything we want inside of our design. And this was kind of new to me recently, so I have my Surfer, right? But this time I'm just going to select out in space. I have the ability to type in information I may want to search on. Is it a wire number? I could go just pick a wire number. Or getting back into there, I can type in a wire number. Maybe I want wire 66. Let's go find wire 66. And Surfer is going to take me right to it. So just another unique way of using the command itself inside of my design. So hopefully you've learned something there, either about the Surfer or even the quick access toolbar.